Well, hello, YouTube. So today we're going to take care, uh, take a look at a, a car from Tamiya. I've never built a car from Tamiya. My car has been always uh, AMT Ertl or Monogram or Ravel. Um, this is GTO Mitsubishi GTO Twin Turbo. Um, I like this car. I first got acquainted with it in Gran Turismo and it was one of my favorite ones there. So I want to build one and found this one. So please like and subscribe and ring that bell for notifications on my new videos. So here's the box art from the GTO Twin Turbo. I think the car looks really nice in the box art. And here we have an example of a white one. Is it silver? Grace. Grace silver. Okay. As well as Fiji blue, which I kind of like that color. I might have to look around for some Tamiya paint that uh, like that. That or, or maybe a dark green, like a forest green or something like that. So here we have these, some tech chips. I always read them. Maybe I learn something. You know, maybe not. So. Here we start by building the suspension. Also, here's a front gearbox and the half shafts. Spring and then the rear suspension. I was wrong. This is all the rear suspension here. So it has a... Yeah, because it's a four-wheel drive, I think, you know. And then here, with step three, you start with the front suspension. And it also, it does have shafts here, too, you know. Then step four... Step four exhausts. Step five, uh, you're putting the exhaust on. And here, this part. This is exhaust system. I'm not sure what this one is here, though. It's maybe the steering linkage or something like that. Wheels and tires. Then on the interior. Step seven, continue with the interior, putting the seats in, putting the dashboard in, and the shifter and everything. Step eight, you put the interior into the chassis. Step nine, bodywork and some painting instructions. Step ten, uh, the glass in, the rear view mirror in, the windshield wipers. Then step 11, assembly of the chassis to the body. Step 12, final details, the, the side view mirrors, headlights, uh, here are the fog lights and license plates, rear windshield wiper, rear window, Rear license plate, spoiler, and then the uh, tail lights. I can already see something I don't like about this car. It doesn't have an engine. And the hood doesn't open. You can only see from underneath the bottom of the engine. So that's already one negative. On all, on the Ravel and the monogram kits, it always has a full engine. And then here's a couple decals, the license plate and stuff. License plate, GTO, stuff like that. Not a lot of decals to it. So it comes with some paint from Amazing Art. Uh, acrylic enamel. I've never heard of acrylic enamel. I thought it was either or. It's honey yellow matte. A nicely, nicely molded body. 
I won't take it out of the package to keep it protected a little bit because I'm not going to build it right away. But you can it, 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 you can see it well enough here. I don't see any kind of mistakes or, or molding lines. Even the interior looks decent. Except for it has a writing on the top and here a molding line under the hood which since it doesn't have a opening hood then yeah, you're not going to see it anyways. It comes with rubber tires. Cool. And we have here the uh, clear parts. I would like to keep them protected too, but it looks like there was already a little damage done here. And even though I'm, I like uh, to try to be environmental friendly, I guess the model building is not so environmental friendly either. But if we're going to go there, then we should go all the way and protect the, protect the clear parts with some foam. See, the decals look pretty good. This is for the back window. It's the uh, the lines for the defroster. No, I'm not even looking. Yeah, here. Back window lines for the defroster. Front window. Uh, these are shaded part on the shaded part on the bottom. And you have here. Here's the the uh, the gauges and stuff. It has an active arrow, it has the species symbol, and a couple of different uh, options for decals. Pretty good decals, I think. They look good in register. So now the parts here, let's take a look at them. Now, I was just thinking. And it would cost more to build it then, but if you could find, uh, what, what, what was the car from Dodge that was like the Mitsubishi Turbo? Um, I think they had the same engine. Dodge. Hmm. 3000 GT. There may be a 3000 GT from Ravel or Monogram in this scale. If there is... You could carefully, very, very carefully, cut out the hood and add the engine into it from the other kit, maybe. But that would take a lot of, uh, a lot of doing, I think. But it would look cool in the end, I think. I mean, a model car should have a model engine in it, I think. Uh, all these, the stock cars and all, all the other cars I have have an engine. Just this one, not so far. I don't really, I don't know. The rims aren't all that either. The chrome... Mm, they're okay, but it looks a little weird, I think. Can't really say why. It's like a little... That chrome from Monogram is a lot more chromey. A lot shinier. This looks a little dull. More like maybe aluminum. Now, the, uh, you yeah. know... They casted some parts in red. Why they casted the exhaust in red, I don't know. It could have been gray too, whatever. It's going to get painted, it doesn't matter, I guess. Here we have the windshield wipers, the uh, the discs and brakes, which the brakes here, the calipers look really good, I think. Really, really good. Which is good, because you're going to be able to see them through the, uh, the rims, or at least part of them. Spoiler. And it's like, and here's a spoiler. And there's a little bit of a problem here. It's going to take. Okay, there's a lot of a problem here actually. Here in here. Let's see if you can see that. There's mold lines on the spoiler going to have to be polished out. I don't think it's going to have to be sanded, even though this looks like an indention right here. But it's, it isn't. You can feel it even. 
but I think it can be polished out. Other than that, they look good. A lot of good detail on the, the calipers, I think, too. Um, take a look at the underside here. Here you can see the engine transmission in the front here. Now the details on the underside look pretty good, I think. And there's a couple of mold molding lines here, but that's not going to be so bad of a problem. And like I said, it, I mean, the details on the engine look pretty good, but it's... it's I'd rather have a full engine in it. So you can open the hood and see the top of it too. But it doesn't have that. I mean, the, the, the parts here, these are... The half shafts, drive shafts, and everything look pretty good. Steering wheel, steering column. Seats look good too. There's no, 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 no problems there. I don't see any flash. Here's the uh, dashboard and control, uh, everything. It looks good. What are here? There's some. Maybe this is for the speakers, I don't know. There's a couple of... There's two of them? Oh, you can have a left a left hand drive or a right hand drive. Get that. Options. Can you see it? Yeah, there we go. Here, we have a left hand drive. Uh, dashboard and here we have a right hand drive dashboard pretty cool to have that option here's the framing for the underneath I think it looks really good a lot of good detail there the shifter looks good here's the uh, pan the, uh, the hump from the middle between the seats There's an option there as well. You have your here, your left hand drive, and here you have your right hand drive. The parts look good though. Also good interior detail here. But that doesn't look like a carpeted uh, floor. Should have... And there's, there's uh, pin marks here on the bottom marks on both sides and well sometimes you have like mats that are molded in there's none of those either the seats look good but here in the front there's no detail not really going to be seen anyways so. uh, a little good painting I'll take care, care of it I think though so. the parts look really good it'll be my first car from uh, Tamat Tamiya and uh I think it'll turn out pretty good. The only, only, only real, only big problem I see with it is the lack of uh, of an engine, which could be rectified if you wanted to do the extra work to cut the engine, uh, cut the hood off. By see if you can find from Ravel Monogram or AMT Ertl, uh, uh, 3000 GT. I don't think they make a GTO. But the car should, I think the engine is the same. I'm pretty sure the engine is the same. And they're pretty much the same car, even. And, uh, then you would have to cut the engine off of here and add that engine in here. And then all the engine details on the top from the, from the 3000 GT. Even though I don't think it would, I mean, there's going to be some dodge symbols and stuff on it. It's not going to be exactly the same, I don't think. But it would work if you want to do all that work. I would like to. So in my next video, we'll be taking a look at this. Uh, this is a Japanese uh, battleship Mikasa. This is a. a it says it says a battleship, but it's like pre pre dreadnought. What are? No, it's in it's in this era of, of the dreadnoughts. They're from 1902. Um, I was watching some YouTube videos about old ships and dreadnoughts and stuff. And I saw this, and first it looks cool, and it has a really interesting uh, history, too. Um, so I thought, hey, 
I'll build one of them too. It's not so big, so I'll find room for it. Um, so until next time, I'll take a look at this.